On July 16, 1945, the United States tested its first nuclear weapon, a Trinity site located in Nevada Desert, New Mexico. The bomb tested there was called the Gadget, and it was a prototype of a plutonium implosion type bomb, similar to the one dropped on Nagasaki. When the gadget exploded, the intense heat caused the steel tower as well as surrounding sand to melt and form what we now call Trinitite. Today, it is illegal to take Trinitite from the test site. However, you can still buy it from many different sellers who have collected it before the ban. Trinitite comes in three different colors, green, red, and black, with green being the most common and black being the rarest. Trinitite has a very low activity. When put together, all my samples measured at around 110 CPM. Unfortunately, the rise in demand for Trinitite caused some scammers to start selling fake samples. They make them by mixing sand with radioactive isotopes such as strontium-90 and then heating it to extreme temperatures. As a result, they create glass that is very similar in looks to Trinitite and even is slightly radioactive. However, in order to verify if the sample is real or not, it is best to do a gamma spectroscopy of it. A spectrum of a real trinitite should show the following isotopes. americium 241 Europium-132, Cesium-137, and Cobalt-60. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Also feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee. And remember, stay active.